Hey everybody, welcome to Trina Killick Designs. My name is Trina. I am the owner here at Trina Killick Designs where I teach other ladies how to take control of a jigsaw and cut and paint their own wooden door hangers and do some crafting. So, but today I'm gonna to be doing painting the, I guess you would call it the faux shiplap sign that I made the other day. So if you did not see that video of me actually making the sign, um, be sure to scroll down on my page and check that out. So when you come on, how about tell me, hey, what are you up to today? I had a doctor's appointment this morning um, that I did not get to go to, or I went to. Hey, Miss Brenda and Jessica, it was for like my yearly, my lady appointment, women appointment, or female appointment, and Zoe's home sick, and I was like, well, I'll just take her, and she can just stand like out there at the door with me. Well, unfortunately, where I go, they don't allow anyone under 13 years old to actually go back, so she's like, she's gonna have to sit outside. I'm like, like, in the lobby, like, waiting room? She's like, no, she can't sit out here. She has to go outside the office. I'm like, well, no. <laughs> like, we're gonna have to reschedule, because I'm definitely all the, um, kidnapping and stuff going on. I'm definitely not leaving my child outside of the, the office by herself. And she's only 10 years old. So I had to reschedule it. But have y'all ever heard of anything like that before? Hey, Miss Carolyn. Hey, Miss Marine. I'm feeling a little bit better, but I declare y'all it's like it's coming back. It was going away and now it's like, like it's starting to come back again, the congestion and stuff. So I don't know. Me and Zoe, we're going to go to the doctor because she's sick and she's very congested. So we're going to go to our little urgent care up in Lake City and um, that'll open till 2. I was going to take her yesterday and then I didn't. So this is the sign that we're going to be making. I'm going to be painting today. Um, I was going to put like this embroidery hoop on here. But my nephew come and got my hot glue gun yesterday and he hadn't brought it back. So... Um, I may have to wait to decorate this part. Maybe like tomorrow or Friday. Hey, Miss Kathy and um, Miss Bertha, Victoria, hey, Aunt Mary, Carla. So I'm thinking, y'all, I was trying to decide if I wanted to stain my frame part. But do y'all know that a lot of the trending that's going on right now is just natural wood. So, if I paint this white and then I have my embroidery hoop on here. Thank you, Miss Sherry, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. <coughs> hey, Olivia, first time to see you live. Yay! The same thing is happening to me. Better much. Better now, not so much. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with me. But since my embroidery hoop has got that natural wood, I'm thinking I may just, I might not even touch my frame part. I'm going to paint this white and then see. It's definitely going to be the last thing I do. And I may not even decide on whether I want to paint it or not until I actually get this decorated. So, we'll, we shall see. This is my favorite time seeing your video. I mean, this is my first time. I, I thought this is my favorite time seeing your video. This is my first time seeing your video. I'm for, um... Wait a minute. There we go. My doctor told me what I was just told to you. I definitely would be looking for another doctor. Really, Miss Diane? Which, I mean, it is for, you know, it is a female doctor. It's my OBGYN. Um, you still sound rough. I know, Miss Kathy. I was sounding so much better, and now, like I said, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if Zoe's got it, and we're just kind of passing it around. Yeah, it kind of made me, I don't know, but I've been seeing this doctor for ever since Zoe, you know, she delivered Zoe. I'm like, this child paid you a good bit of money to come into this world, or I paid you a good bit of money to bring this child in this world. <laughs> now she can't even go back, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, so I'm going to start off by using my Waverly chalk paint. This is called Plastered. This is kind of like a, 
it's it's not white it's almost like an off-white kind of like an antique white so I'm gonna try I may wind up not liking it and want more of a brighter white you need more than one glue gun miss Brenda I have another glue gun but it's with the small glue sticks and I don't have any of the small glue sticks because I haven't used it in I don't know how long and then my other one I recently threw away because the trigger kept on getting to where it wouldn't work so I, I threw it away because I wouldn't grab it accidentally and not have one so but I, I really do need more than one hey miss Patricia I took elderberry, elderberry for building your immune system. It helped me get rid of the flu. Miss Barbara, I have done took three bottles, three bottles of elderberry. I took one bottle from Walmart. I don't remember the name, the name of it. And I took one from um that I ordered off of Amazon that I used to live by, and it's called Umpka. But it has it hadn't really touched what I've got. So y'all, I do not want to get my paint inside of my grooves here. I want to keep those dark. So just to help prevent that, I'm going to actually take this twine. And I've never done this before. And I think I might put my twine. Or maybe not. No, I'm not because it's not going to stick. But I'm going to try my best not to get into my grooves. Hey, Miss Diane. Hey, Miss Brenda from Florida. So I'm just going to go right in. And again, I'm going to try not to get it on my, um, my frame part. If I get it on there a little bit, it'll be all right. And I'm also going to try not to get it completely inside of my lines there. But if I do, I don't think it's going to be too much of a big deal. So what are y'all ladies up to? Do I have anybody painting today? I love the chalk paint. It's the one I use. Is it, Miss Tammy? I'm actually gonna wet my my brush a little bit because it's just to kind of help this paint kind of glide on there a little bit more smoother. It's one thing about chalk paint is it it's kind of hard. Um, it don't like glide the smoothest. I am getting it inside my grooves a little bit, y'all, but maybe I need to pull it this way. Let's pull it this way. This is going to be weird painting it this way, but just going over those grooves this way kind of helps from it getting on the inside of it. Hey, Miss Francine. Hello to all of you. Hope your day is going great. Thank you, Miss Mary. I hope you're having a great day as well. I seen somebody say something about some olive. Get some olive leaf and try that. Hmm. Where do you get olive? I've never heard of olive leaf. Where do you get that from? You get that from a grocery store? <coughs> Cleaning my house. Yay. Well, Natalie, I don't know if... The that's something I really need to do is clean my house. That's what I ought to be doing now. But instead, I'm, I'm painting, trying to get some decorations going on. All right. If I miss your questions, y'all, I will come back and read everything. Like I said, I'm kind of just going up and down where my grooves is at because I don't want my grooves to get white on the inside of them. I want them to stay more just to have that real shiplap look. If I get paint in there, then it's gonna, I don't know, I want to have that dark look in between there. I'm gonna try to smooth it out. I've had a cough now for three weeks. It's awful. Oh, no, Lori. I can't get rid of the cough that I've got either, but it's gotten better. It really has gotten better. <laughs> I couldn't even hardly do any, like, talking and stuff without going through a coughing spell last week. So, it's definitely gotten better. I got to get some more white paint. I love that you bunny that you made in your class. Thank you, Vicky. That was super, super pretty. 
I enjoyed making that with the ladies that took my class. It's super cold here in Pennsylvania, so snow, thankfully. Oh, no snow, thankfully. But I'm heading to North Carolina tomorrow, and it's supposed to snow just by luck. Oh, no, Christine. Well, I would love to get a little bit of snow, because we don't ever get, like, snow. We didn't get snow. I don't think we got any last year. I can't can't really remember. But, um... I would love to get just a little bit of snow, especially for the kids. Hey everybody, just vacuuming and wash floors. Now to finish making my ribbon holders, going to stain the wood pieces. Ooh, damn, ribbon holders, what are you making them out of? I can't hardly paint my left hand, y'all. I feel funky using my left hand to paint. I don't even think I'm holding my paintbrush right. Y'all see how it's leaving like the lines still dark and it's not full of white paint. Girl, take it all. I'm so done with it. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to cleaning. My allergy starts acting up. Miss Brenda, I will um, I will probably say the same thing. Which, if you have allergies, then cleaning and cleaning around dust and stuff probably does not help at all. All right, I'm going to kind of flip it this way, y'all, so I can get up here. Trying to get up under there without getting, getting it on my frame. Hey, Amy. Thank you, Tracy. Your hoodie is really cute. Thank you, Natalie. This is like one of my favorite hoodies, which I'm a hoodie person. Most of the time you're gonna see me and I'm gonna have three or four hoodies on. That's either this one or some kind of Clemson hoodie. Just because that's, <laughs> those are the hoodies that I have and that I work in. And instead of messing up all, every piece of clothing I have, I kind of stick with the same little hoodies and stuff during the winter time and summertime I kind of Stick with the same shirts. Because for a while there, I didn't hardly own anything in my house to wear that didn't have some sort of paint spot on it somewhere. So I was like, I'm just going to... People will think I may not have no clothes. I might wear the same thing over and over, which I kind of do. Because I wear those... If I'm going to do any kind of painting and stuff, I make sure I grab one of those... One of those hoodies and go with it. Alright, I'm putting another coat on here. And hitting these spots on this side where I didn't get get them too good. <coughs> hey, Miss Bonnie. A little bit better, Brandy. Thank you for asking. And thank you for sprinkling. Hello, good to see you. I have missed you. Well, thank you, Julie. I've missed coming live with y'all. Um... But I've had, I have been busy, though, in my classes and in my, of course, my regular inside scoop group, you know. And then being sick did not help at all. Those poor ladies probably, you know, thank the Lord that I've had some that's, that's been so sweet and they've understood. They have sat there and watched their painting tutorials and cutting tutorials with me having to cough my head off and... All right, I'm putting another really good coat on here, y'all, because I want my, I want this to be really good and thick because I'm not going to distress. I don't think I'm going to distress this part none. So I don't want none of my wood showing at all through here. So I'm going to come and put another coat. Let me get some more water. Like I said, this chalk paint kind of gets thick. So I do like to use a wet brush. 
to help it smooth on a little bit easier. Oh y'all, and in five days, my inside scoop will be opening up. That's what, if you read the description, that's what that, that's all about. So if you've been waiting to get in, it will be open come Monday the 24th. All right. So this is it so far. I see where I've got some white, but I think it's gonna be okay. So what do y'all think? Should, should I cool here have my hoodie on? I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you, Diane. What brand of white paint are you using? Uh, this is the Waverly Chalk Paint, and it's the matte finish. It's actually called Plaster is the name of it. It's kind of white, but it's kind of like an off-white. Uh, Clara Zoe's doing, she's feeling a little bit better than she did yesterday, but she is still not the greatest. She's home. I think me and her, we're both going to go to the doctor and kind of see what's going on. So, what do y'all think? Y'all think the, I, wait a minute, I, in the camera, I kind of see where I didn't get all the way to my frame there. I really like to paint this part before I add my frame to it, but being that I built this online with y'all, I didn't do that. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna be on here. So we're gonna have, y'all just kinda try to envision this pretty good without it actually being together yet. So we're gonna have it like this. So we got all of this natural wood here. Then the embroidery hoop, of course, is a natural wood. So it's gonna be hanging here. And then I'm gonna put the greenery over on this side. I would love, I think I want something to go here, but I'm not sure. Should I do a buffalo plaid? I could put the buffalo plaid inside of my embroidery hoop and then put some flowers on the side as well. I may do that. Let's try that and let's just see what that's gonna do. But I kind of like the natural look, and if I do do a stain on this, then it's going to be a very, very, like, light, light stain. And I may can water down some brown paint enough to where I can just do it that way. <coughs> I'm sorry, sending prayers for y'all to feel better. Thank you so much, Clara. That would look really cute. Is this the only page you have? Uh, Brandy, are you asking, is this the only page that I have? Um, this is the only page that I have. Now, I do have a group called, I think it's Trina Culex, uh Designs, like Door Hanger Headquarters. And I do have a subscription membership group that I have. It's called the Inside Scoop. But, as in having like an actual page, this is my only, this is the only page that I have. All right, so let's try to do the buffalo plaid in here. I do have this mustard color. Which one do y'all think? Y'all know I love buffalo plaid. Glad you're feeling a little better. Thank you, Dawn. Buffalo plaid with some lemons would be cute. Natalie, it would be cute. And I got some lemons too. Burlap, the buffalo check. The buffalo check would be too busy with flowers, maybe. Let's see. I don't have no burlap, though. I only have ribbon burlap. I don't have burlap. I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think the, y'all think the, let me put it on there. Let's just see how it's going to do. And then I kind of hold the flowers up on there. <coughs> but I do have... <coughs> do you have this mustard one? Hey, Amanda. Then you will cover up your shiplap. Laura, it would cover up the middle of my shiplap. It sure would. Where can I find how you made that wood piece you are working on now? Feel better soon. Thank you, Kathy. There's, I have a video down below this, probably about two or three posts below this one, where I went live and did it um, and cutting it out. I gotta flip this over. Okay. I'm struggling, y'all, y'all. Give me a minute. 
Now let me make sure I'm getting my crap, my crap straight. Let me make sure I'm getting my design straight. <laughs> push this over. I should have cut before I did this, but I wasn't, wasn't sure if I was gonna do it or not. All right, so let's stick that in there. We're just gonna see how this looks right now. I'm gonna hold up some of the um the flowers on here and see. Burlap, I'm into bees and beehives. Bees are really gonna be popular this um the spring and summer dome. Uh is it Vonnie? I'm not sure. I'm not really putting flowers. I'm just gonna put like greeneries. The check would help anchor the frame. You should put the fabric on the small one and then add the big one and tighten. I don't have but one, so what do you mean, Tammy? Okay, so this will be it. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I mean, we got to get the whole idea of what this is going to look like, so... Hey, Miss Teresa. I've never done this before. I never used like an embroidery hoop to do this. So this is definitely something new that I have tried. Boy, I like some sharp, some sharp, some sharp scissors. These things are cutting this fabric so good. Y'all know I'm used to old dull scissors. It's kind of just almost like you would do wrapping paper and it kind of just slides right through it. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> so here is the embroidery hoop with the buffalo plaid. I see some of my, my things are going wonky. But what I was thinking too, if I could decorate it, I don't know if I want to completely attach it. That paint is still wet. That's odd for chalk paint to still be wet that long. See, it will cut. It will definitely cover up some of the the ship lap, and um, but of course you still see it around it. So it would be like this, and then I could add the greenery to it, and then um, I was thinking about maybe cutting out a bunny out of burlap. And putting a bunny on here and not permanently attaching this piece so um, I can switch it out and just change it up during the holidays or either like take the the fabric off and just kind of switch it up so I could like put like a little tack or something in here just to kind of hang this on I'm not sure yet but let's let's try I might can do what I call, what's called a bundle technique and try to do some kind of greenery with some lemons. I went to buy the exact material at Walmart where I lived and they were all sold out. Oh no. Love the buffalo chick. Attach it with Velcro. An Easter egg. I think that's a good idea. So that's what I'm thinking. I just need to go get me some on. Um, I'm getting chilly. I just need to go get me some um, burlap. I don't have that. So let's go ahead. And y'all, a greenery, I like a lot of greenery with um, a lot of different textures. I don't, I like mix all kind of greenery. I do have some lavender with a pop of purple that I really like. Now I have seen where people put like two pieces of ribbon on here and kind of makes a pocket. And they put um, like florals inside of it. That would be cute. And then maybe having like a little tiny bunny on the pocket. For some reason, I'll, that must and the mustard color is going to be popular this year too. So let's let's just go and let's see how this is going to turn out. Like I said, I'm going to try to do this without having my glue gun. So if it works, it works. If it don't, then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my little greenery picks off and I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting everything. 
And again, it's just gonna be, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try the bundle technique. AC for Culex is, is for a gallery wall. Huh, that's a great idea. If you put a small nail to hang from, you could switch out every season. <coughs> now, like, that's what I'm thinking, too. So, it's definitely, since I made the base, though, with, um, out of the quarter-inch wood, it's going to have to be a very, very thin little nail because of that wood being so thin. I might be wishing that I would have made, um, made it out of my half-inch birch, but I didn't. Put a little burlap across the loop and use the bunny in pocket. You know what? I, that's a cute idea too. But I could put a piece of burlap here and put it here and have the burlap hanging from up here and coming across the top and just like staple it on the back to hold it there and just switch it. I can do that, y'all. I can do that. What are you doing? Okay, I can I can totally do that. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. I need to pull that a little bit more. I need a bigger piece. One of my older lives on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got hair all in it. What in the world? You know what that hair kind of like? That hair off that mask. Okay, so this is what the bundle technique is going to be. I don't know. I think I'm going to like it, y'all, with the um, <coughs> with the buffalo plaid. That's going to be cute. Okay, we're just going to go with it. We're going to make it and see. Push pin would work. A push pin. Lots of good ideas. Use command strips. Command strips would be good, too. Okay, so I'm just going to start stacking my all of my florals. I have one of these. One. These are like little olive branches. But I need more than one. Need more than one. Alright, so I have this greenery. The only thing is, is doing it this way, what's going to happen is I'm going to be left with a centerpiece that's going to need a bow. So, I'm going to have to make a bow to go in the center. Okay. So, I'm just adding different little greenery pieces on here, y'all. And all I'm doing is stacking it. Ugh. Definitely don't want to leave the tag going on. Let me get that tag off. All I'm doing is stacking it on here. Then we're going to put it together with a, with a what? Um, zip tie I think it will be cute love it thank you Brandy and Stacy hey Stacy hey Miss Tammy okay I have this this is like some funky looking stuff does this look too Christmassy to y'all does it look Christmassy or does it just look springy I think it does kind of look springy I mean, it's not like, it's not an evergreen. I don't know why I want to say it looks Christmassy. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it in there. Let's fill it up. I'm going to use what I got. Because I definitely ain't making no trip to Hobby Lobby today, so. Going to have to use what I got. Or what I brought down here. Anyway. I'm going to take those up and I'm going to kind of put that behind there. Just because I'm not super crazy over it. Okay, and once we get this together, we're going to spread this stuff out. No, it's sawgrass looking. I like it, though. Miss Patty, I hadn't painted no buffalo. <coughs> I hadn't painted no buffalo plaid today. <coughs> I um, painted the sign that we did, and I did use some buffalo plaid to go on... Um, some fabric to go on the embroidery hoop that I've got. Okay, let's get the tag off of this too. All of these floors, y'all, they either came from Hobby Lobby or either Craft Outlet. So 
So we got some boxwood here, and this is gonna be a mix of all kind of green, y'all. All kind of greenery. Okay. I'm gonna add, I love this. Absolutely, I love like twiggy looking things. And this thing right here, this actually came from Kali's. If y'all have never heard of Kali, she, um, she makes wreaths. I'm just gonna pull it apart. This came from her, um, she used to do like boxes. I don't know if she still does or not, but this was in one of the boxes that I ordered from her one time. And it's just like little, I'm just tearing it apart, but look at those little twigs. I love twigs. I am Benita, still a little sick. Please, is fabulous. I know, I love her. So I'm gonna stick this inside of here. We're gonna have some twigs going on. I'm probably gonna like twirl those up a little bit. Um, let's, I don't know, let's put this one here. That one's gonna be a little too long. Let me cut. I'm gonna cut this off a little bit. I hate to cut that twig off, but I am. Uh, see, I hate cutting that little twig off. I use it for something else though. All right, so all we're doing is we're just st like putting it, this going one up and one down, and then we're gonna, um. then I am gonna spread all this out, y'all, once we get it together. And I'm gonna attach it with, what am I gonna attach it with? The zip tie, why can't I think of the zip tie? Then I do have like these little spriggy things. I think these are like really fun. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut some of those off. I was about to grab my scissors. That's one reason I can't keep sharp scissors because I'm constantly grabbing them to cut wire and everything else with. All right, these are like really tiny little pieces and I'm just gonna put them in there and hopefully those are kind of hang and flow down. I like a lot of stuff flowing kind of going crazy and it don't look like everything's in place. I like a lot of flowiness. I guess that's what you would call it. So even if this hangs down and falls on top of something else, I'm totally fine with that. Now these little pieces don't even have no leaves on there. I'm just going to stick those little suckers right in there. And let them hang. Let it hang. Stick it right there. All right. So now let's add a little bit of color. Let's add some of this lavender. Now this lavender pick did come from Walmart. It did came from, come from Walmart. So this is going what's going to give us a pop of color right there. A little bit of lavender. And if you like more color, y'all, add just add, add you some flowers. Add whatever colors that y'all like. I'm just not one that's all four colors right now. I like more of the neutral, more of the neutral look and colors and just the farmhousey. So this is gonna be pretty thick. I don't know when to stop, y'all. That's one of my problems is I have a hard time stopping or knowing when to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna get one of my zip ties and we're gonna stick it up under there. And now we're gonna pull it and we're gonna attach it. All right, so we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna pull that as tight as we can get it. Ooh, I, there's one. <laughs> I didn't get that one. Let me just kind of show that let me try to shove that in there, if I can. There we go, gotcha. I got it. Okay, sorry y'all if I'm missing your comments. Trina, are you going to Crafters Convention? I sure would love to meet you and Swap Creations. Oh, Tina, I would love to meet you, but unfortunately I'm not. I would love to go to stuff like that, but y'all, I've got to wait till my kiddos gets a little bit bigger. So that's all I did. This is what you call the little bundle technique. Put the zip tie in there, and this is a good way to make a swag. But I just, I've got to wait for the kiddos to get a little bit bigger and be a little bit more okay with not having mama home with them at night. Zoe would have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> she really would. 
So see, I'm thinking something like this. I'm not sure if I want to put it kind of on the side or about right here. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe about right there. Let's spread them out and let's kind of see where we got. But yeah, y'all have fun. I hope y'all enjoy that. Gotta love, gotta love zip ties. I know, zip ties to save the day when you don't have no hot glue gun on hand. <laughs> Okay, so see, you can take this. A lot of the stuff, you know, is wire. So just take it and spread it around. You can, like, pull them up to just give it more dimension. I'm going to take my twigs. I'm going to just wrap them around my finger and then pull it out just to give it a little bit more going on with the twigs that I can. Some of these twigs, they won't, they don't twirl. Or you can't twirl them because they're not completely wired. <coughs> and this would be really cute y'all with like more flowers or colors in here if you decided you know if you wanted to do color I'm a designer this year and I'm so excited oh yay so do you own do you have a page um Tina do you do anything is it Tina or Teen <laughs> zip ties are the new duct tape okay so let's see we got to pull some more stuff i got to pull some more stuff over on this side just a little bit of seem like everything's like right here so let me pull some more why does this one look so much more fuller for some reason i put the same amount on the top and the bottom well i thought i did anyway okay so see how simple and easy that is Ta da I like that. I like it. That looks good. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, so let's see. Just kind of looking and seeing. Like I said, we got to put some... It does need a bow. We got to put a bow. Or either I do have... I do have like little cotton... See, that's what it's missing. I need some little, I need cotton. I had these little cotton pods. I could put just like some cotton there. That would be, darn, I don't have my hot glue gun, so I can't glue the cotton on there. Man, that would be cute. Okay, so y'all tell me what you think. Just with the little cotton pods on there. Or do y'all think I need to do a bow? A bow would be really pretty, though. A bow would be really pretty. What about eggs in the middle of the flowers? Eggs would be really cute. I've got eggs upstairs, though. Or a bunny egg. What I do want to do is I want to go get me some burlap and cut out a bunny. It may even do like a stuffed bunny. And put the bunny here, on here. So little eggs up there would be cute. The only thing, if I was to do eggs, then I would definitely have to just use this greenery for Easter. I would, you know, I would like just to be able to switch the greenery out when I switch, like, the, the hoops out. Because these hoops are not, these embroidery hoops, they're not expensive, y'all. So instead of, like, redoing everything, I mean, they're, I think it was, like, less than three bucks. Let's see. It was two fifty nine, so I mean they're not expensive, and that wasn't hard to do with the fabric. <coughs> okay, so if I did a bow, I probably will do. I do have a bow with cotton on it. I have the rib. I'm. At, I do have ribbon with cotton. Um. I do have buffalo plaid ribbon, but I don't want to do more buffalo because I think that would be an overkill. With buffalo on buffalo. It's something I really need to go do is get some more ribbon. <coughs> I'm just looking at my ribbon, y'all. Sorry for the... Um, I have this. I'm out of burlap as well. But I would literally just like do little loops i wouldn't make like a big fluffy bow so let's try that real quick i 
I don't have any zip ties. I mean, I, I got zip ties. I don't have any, um, great. Pipe cleaners. That's what I was thinking. I don't have any pipe cleaners. Your cotton is perfect. can be used for whatever when you change it out in the middle. So I'm thinking maybe just like three, three little loops. And I could make my tails a little bit long and they could be showing. Um, you can see it through it. So I'm just going to come and make um, a simple little bow, y'all. And maybe one more loop here to put this on the top part. Like I said, I want it to be kind of a a real a real loose bow, nothing over the top or anything. So I think that's gonna do it. I think that's gonna do it right there. Lord knows y'all, I ain't made a bow with my hands in so long. If I had some zip ties, I could totally do it a lot better. I mean, pipe cleaners. I can't get my stuff to go right. Hey, Amanda. Okay, so let's see how crazy I got this bow looking. Because I kind of let go of it when I went to go put it, put the wire on there. So it is definitely a crazy wonky bow for sure. Let me get my things straight. I do want to have some of that sticking out there and have that sticking out there. Now these loops just going everywhere. <coughs> and then it hanging. It's definitely crazy. I don't know y'all that bow did not work out good let me kind of pull it and see what I got going on here where's my wire y'all know I'm a bow dabber kind of girl I can't be doing these bows hand with my hands I get them all funky funky and messed up all right let's put that on there and let's see let's see how it's gonna look and then I may kind of judge it then Hey, Mitzi. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip it over. I'll fluff it back out in just a minute once I get this tied on here. I just used some regular little floor wire to make that bow. Okay, so now let's kind of just fluff it out. And I may, I'm probably gonna do some trimming with this, um, with the, the ribbon tails here. Let's see that bow. It's just very simple. It's not full. Come here, thing. It's wanting to roll away from me. Now, that would be cute, y'all. And then I wouldn't have to add anything to it. Like, any kind of rabbit. But, of course, it covers the whole burlap. So, if I just leave all this and I, you know, couldn't put the, the bunny there... Now it's pretty, but the cotton looks better with the buffalo plaid. Too much cotton. Can you put some greenery through the bow? Looks good. You can always add a burlap bow later, then post a picture. The bow was cute, cute. Yeah, I could definitely add some greenery into the bow. I just don't have no glue gun to do that. 
Um, let's see. I can kind of like stick some in there though so y'all kind of get an idea. I don't really have no greenery that's good enough for that besides like my little, um, what is, what is this stuff called, y'all? I just said it not long ago. <coughs> um, lavender stuff. <coughs> Let me see. No, I have to wait and go upstairs and get some greenery. But I do like I did like the idea of the bunny. So once I make the bunny, I may wind up trimming I will trim all this off and then put the bunny. But until then, now I gotta to try to figure out how to attach my bow, my swag. Thank you, Amanda. <coughs> All right, so here's here's our our sign. Then we will have this here. That's pretty, y'all. Is it too much though? Is my swag too big? It definitely makes it more. I don't know. I think it might be too big, y'all. What do y'all think? Is that too big? Is that too much? Hmm. No, attached to the hook on the loop. Thank y'all so much. No, no. Okay. All right. No, it's beautiful. All right, so what do y'all think about, not too big to me, what do y'all think about the trim? Trim tiles and add bunny. Y'all think I ought to leave it natural or should I stain it? If I stain it, I'm thinking about staining a light stain, but not no, not dark. No, not no, not too big. Looks awesome. Thank you, Deborah. No, 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 leave it. The floor wire wrapped around the screw on the top. I could do it that way. And I don't cut my four wires, so I would have to, because what I was going to do is actually stick a hole, just because it would secure it a lot better. I could take a zip tie. I need some smaller. My nose is burning. I need some. I need some smaller zip ties. But what I was thinking is maybe cutting a little tiny hole through here, and sticking it through there that way, and that would really secure it, like really good i wouldn't have to worry about it coming off or anything so let me i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna stick a little that ain't gonna work i'm gonna make a tiny little slit right here through my material And then I'm gonna stick my zip tie through there and then I'm gonna tie it off on the top there. There we go. And see that really, really secures it right there. <coughs> now let me cut it off. <coughs> Okay, make sure that's not on top. So there it is, that's cute. Use floor wire, paint the frame black and distress it. Or maybe yes on the stain, but dark. I even thought about gluing some, um, like going over the top and gluing my half beads on top around my, um, I'm gonna fall around my um embroidery hoop like these little half beads here i thought about taking these and gluing them around it this will be like way over the top like a lot going on but 
it was just an idea that I was had going on in my head. That would be cute. But I'm also thinking that would be too much. Can y'all see that? Because of our heating. <coughs> Miss Barber. <coughs> I have it. A lot going on with the beads. Yeah, that's, I was thinking that might be a lot. Let me set it on here. I know this view is kind of crazy. But this is the way it's going to be. And that's the way it would be like if we had, I don't know. Can y'all see that? I mean, that is a lot going on. That would be cute, and the beads would match the unstained frame to tie it all together. Too much, no beads, no beads, no beads. Okay. All right, well, ladies, that's all I'm going to do today. I'm going to decide on the stain. I think, I don't know, I think I do want to kind of stain it, except I'm, it will be, darn, I don't know. I just, I don't know what I, how I want to do it. But what I do know is I've got to figure out to make it stay. I've got to maybe use some burlap to hang it and have the burlap coming right here. But I do want to add the... I'm going to cut out a bunny, get me some burlap, and cut out a bunny and stuff and just see how it looks on there. And if I like it with the bunny all there and there, I'm going to trim all of this ribbon off. Trina, you are sounding worse again. <laughs> Time to go to the daughter. Miss Rose, I know... Um, mucus X for your cough. I did go out there and get me some mucinex. It, it was helping, but now, I, like I said, I don't know if we're just passing it around because Zoe's got something going on now and what it is, but at least I'm not down in the bed. I think a very light stain would be beautiful. I'm thinking a light stain too. A silhouette, buddy. <coughs> So, ladies, once I get the bunny and stuff going, I, I will hop back on here live with y'all. Um, it'll be one day this week, probably tomorrow or might be even Friday, depending on when I can go and get some stain. Because the only stain I have is some dark stain. And I might try, might wind up just using some watered-down brown paint. Um, but I will come back to finish it with everybody. Lay some black paper fabric on the frame to see what it looks like i could do that too just to see how it looks i hope you and your daughter feel better thank you sharon all right well ladies i'm gonna hop off of here because of right now i'm at a standing point because of the stain part and i've got to go um get burlap to see if i want to do the bunny or not um I'm going to try to be thinking about how I want to actually hang it so I can switch it out. So I don't want to permanently attach it. I'm thinking I can just glue some ribbon on the back of here. And then just have it coming over, the ribbon coming over the top. And like be a nail back here. Um, but I will let y'all know how I do all that. And like I said, I will come back live to finish the whole piece with everybody so we can kind of decide. Cause I like, I like y'all helping me. Sometimes I kind of, I could set on trying like decisions and never really come to a complete decision. And I'm set on it for a couple weeks before I'm finished with it because I can't decide on exactly how I want it. So I appreciate you ladies so much for coming on and helping me. I hope y'all all have a fantastic day. Put a hook on the board to hang it. Velcro, you are short breath. I am a little bit. It would tie into the buffalo check. So, um, I'll see y'all again later on. Thank y'all so much again. All right, bye. <laughs>